talk to Joe. For 18 years of his life, Landon felt that he was a boy trapped in a girl's body. But testosterone treatments had given him his first real hope of becoming his true self, of having his body match his mind. How do you feel? Good. Dr. Joanna Olson is one of the few pediatricians in the country that helps transgender adolescents physically transition. And I wanted to get a better sense of what her patients and all transgender people were going through. What is transgender? So transgender actually is an umbrella term to identify people who have a different internal sense of gender or gender identity that's different from their physical body, their organs. So when you say trans girl, what does that mean? So when I say trans female, I mean someone who was born with boy parts, primarily a penis, um, who identifies as female and over time they make their body match as close as they can to their identity. And a trans male would be the opposite. Does a patient have to be a certain age for you to see them? No. So I'm seeing kids from as young as four all the way up now through 25. Do you ever get nervous that kids like five or six years old might just be confused? When did you know that you were a girl? Pretty early, right? Because gender identity is around three to five years old. Now, the reason that so many people ask this question is because cross-gender play is very common in childhood, right? Like, every, like lots of little boys, they want to wear dresses, they want to paint their nails, it's fun. And if that's a phase that passes, then you don't have a transgender kid. That's just a passing phase. But if it starts to be persistent and consistent and you see a level of intensity to it, like for example, I wanna cut my penis off, I pray every night that I'm born in, in the girl body. You can imagine that provokes a lot of anxiety. Has anyone ever changed their mind? No, I've never had that happen. This is not someone who's like, maybe this will pass, we'll just wait. This is someone like, wow, our kid's really been persistent and consistent with this behavior. Those kids I think are not likely at all to go back. Are you seeing more patients with gender issues of late? We are seeing more, and one reason is the media. There's also the internet. Many, many young people, my adolescents say, I didn't realize it till I saw, I was on the internet, and I saw this phenomenon that named exactly how I felt. And I said, that's me. I'm a transgender female, or I'm a transgender male. There's one other aspect, too, that I think is really important, and it's the different way that people communicate with their children now. So they're having conversations with them, not at them or down to them, or children should be seen and not heard. So in the past, it might be way less likely that a child would would have a discussion with their parent about their gender. And I think that's why we're seeing a greater emergence and also a younger emergence.